What's going on everyone? So today's video is a really, really great collaboration with another popular YouTuber. His name is David Van Vorst. He has a phenomenal channel where he showcases all sorts of really amazing cars. Anyways guys, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So I've been a long time follower of David Van Voorst. He has some really great videos and he recently released a video of him towing a 24 foot enclosed cargo trailer, very similar to the 20 foot one that I just purchased. So this is a great representation of the type of trailer that you can put behind a half ton truck to let you know how that half ton truck is gonna perform. And he recently purchased a 2019 Ram Laramie, really beautiful truck, 1500 half ton truck that he uses to haul it with and he's had three quarter ton diesels in the past so he is really a great resource to tell you the differences. I believe half ton trucks are more capable than they ever have been. I do believe that they are able to tow heavier trailers so long as you pair the right trailer and the right load techniques to the truck. Basically the type of trailer that when impacted by wind or sway aren't going to create a dangerous situation for the vehicle towing it. Simply because when you have a trailer that's tall, long, and heavy behind a relatively light truck, the trailer has the ability to control the driving dynamics of the truck in a pretty scary way at times. Guys, I'm going to let David explain to you some of the challenges that you could encounter towing with a half-ton truck. All right, everybody. My name is David Van Voorst, and I'm collaborating today with Big Truck, Big RVs. Huge shout out to JD. So today we're going to be towing with my 2019 Ram 1500. We're going to later on pick up a 25-foot enclosed trailer and see how the truck does with a large enclosed trailer. So we are at Love's gas station. We're gonna jump on the cat scale here, kind of see what the total weight of the truck is. This is an eight speed automatic. It's four wheel drive. It's got the 392 gear and this is a Laramie edition. Um, and we've got two people in the car, probably around 300 pounds worth of passengers. And then we've got a quarter tank of gas in the truck. So we're gonna get a complete weight on this vehicle. I think these are fairly accurate. So at least give us a good base. And then when we pick up the trailer, we're gonna get a weight of the trailer with the truck also. And then we'll kind of show you how it tows from there. All right guys, so we got our weight in for the truck, 5,680 pounds. So remember there's two people in here, quarter tank of gas. Today is an awesome day for towing because we're in Amarillo, Texas, and the winds are about 25 mile an hour from the Southwest. So we're gonna go pick up this trailer and we'll let you guys know how it tows. The only problem with this Ram 1500 is I did not opt for the air ride suspension in the back. So with this being coil suspension in the back, you will see that this sags a ton. So try and uh, not worry about that too much. But this is actually a 24 foot trailer. It's a big chief. I believe it's about 3,600 pounds. It's got a 10,000 GVWR. So it is a pretty hefty trailer. And we're gonna see how it pulls. Like I said, it's a really windy day. It's 25 mile an hour winds. But if you back up, you can see just how bad the truck dips with the trailer uh, that's just because okay so we went and weighed the half ton truck and as you saw it was only 5600 pounds with passengers we added a passenger um, but that will be the biggest downfall when towing this especially on the highway is that the trailer is not too far behind on weight from the truck when you have a large truck like a three-quarter ton um, diesel or even a three quarter ton gas truck, they have a lot more weight to them, so they kind of dictate where the trailer goes. But when the trailer weighs that much and a truck is this light, the trailer really dictates where the truck is going. So that's gonna be the biggest downfall when we start towing it, is when we're passing semis and we're just driving on the highway about 60, 70 miles an hour, is that the trailer's gonna wanna pull this with the wind instead of the trailer kind of following which way the truck's going. So. Like I said, this does have the 392 gears, so it can pull the weight just fine. It's the fact that it's an enclosed trailer, and it's such a large trailer that the half-ton truck struggles uh, when it's really windy out compared to a three-quarter ton truck. So like I said, it pulls the weight just fine. We're only about half throttle, and it's gaining mile an hour just fine. About to, we'll, we'll pass this semi watch. So it's not bouncing too bad, but the problem is right now that 
right at the tongue where all the weight is, it's riding real low because of the suspension in the back of the half ton. So if you are looking to get one of these 19 Ram 1500s or any half ton truck, I really recommend you get air springs, air suspension in the back so you can level it out. But so you can see, we're passing a semi at 78 miles an hour just fine. It just kind of pulls us um, with the wind. So now we're going 80 miles an hour. It's pulling the trailer just fine. It's got plenty of power, but you can feel the truck kind of bounce around. So braking distance is just fine. Obviously, if the trailer was loaded up with some weight, there's nothing in there, is there? Um, no, I don't think so. Yeah, so the trailer's empty. So braking, it does just fine. You wouldn't even notice the trailer's back there. However, um, I have towed with an open trailer that had a 4,500 pound car on there. So you did have to brake a little bit earlier because I don't have a trailer brake controller, um, but it brakes just fine. It's got a generator and some cabinets stuff in it. Oh, okay, but probably nothing really heavy. No. What do you know, a Dodge with his hood up stuck yeah. in the road, man. <laughs> so yeah, for it being as windy as it is, it's really towing just fine. I thought it'd actually throw us around a little more. But these trucks, they're meant for, you know, flatbed trailers, open car trailers with a single car on them. You can do an enclosed trailer, but I would try and stay, you know, probably under 6,000 pounds GVWR because this one fully loaded, I think this would have a lot of trouble pulling it. So we'll, we'll kind of show you. So that's about a little more than half throttle. It's not full throttle. The 5.7 Hemi, it's got plenty of power. Passing semis is 70 plus. So and it holds the shift point a little higher because we're in tow haul mode. Yeah, for 25 mile an hour winds, you can see it's it's kind of bouncing the truck a little bit, but it's actually not as bad as I remember it being. All right, so you can see when in tow haul mode, it tries to figure out how long the trailer is. It's saying it's 30 feet. The trailer's about 24 feet, we believe. Um, so it's not exactly accurate, but that's pretty good. So we got it in tow haul mode. It's got plenty of power to pull it with the 5.7 V8 Hemi, and uh, we don't have any troubles pulling it. But if the trailer was full, being this large of a trailer, I think it definitely would have some problems doing it. All right guys, so this truck does awesome for towing, especially if you're not towing all the time. Now, if you're towing all the time, you probably want a three quarter ton truck or even a turbo diesel three quarter ton. Um, just because how light these trucks are, they're just half tons. They're not meant to have a ton of weight behind them, but with the configuration that I have in this truck, it does tow a little over 11,000 pounds and the max trailer towing capacity of these, I think is like a little over 12,000. But if you're gonna have a large enclosed trailer, you'd probably want a three quarter ton truck, but if you've got a flatbed, an open car trailer, or even a shorter wheelbase enclosed trailer, you can definitely get away with the half ton trucks. They tow awesome, they've come a long way in towing, but if your main thing is towing, you definitely wanna go with a three quarter ton truck. So huge shout out to JD, and we'll see you guys on the next one.